I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clan Fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K22. This is our third season with the Bronx Brawlers. Had a nice playoff run the first year. Had a, a nice playoff run the second year, but we ran into the Boston Celtics both years. And also, there was some uh, there was some free agency cheese with the G-Leaguers. And apparently, I've watched a couple of rebuilds, and this is something that every single copy of 2K22 has. So... 2K, you really messed up with that. I don't understand why there are G-Leaguers that are 97, 98, 99 overalls on here. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why we're doing that. Pop Pop, he drafted in the expansion draft a great team. Then he completely broke that team up to get these G-Leaguers. And now we're in a complete rebuild again. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to figure out what direction old Pop Pop's going here. We're going to add one more expansion team to the league. I think the game decides who it is. I don't think I have to do that. It's the Nashville Stars, and they're going to be in the Central Division, so who moves? All right, so the Milwaukee Bucks are now in the Western Conference Northwest, and the Nashville Stars are in the Central Division. Interesting. Well, we got a couple of draft picks here, it looks like. Okay. So we got the 15 and the 14 pick. Maybe we can use that and move up. Please don't let this be us. Damn. All right, so we got the 16 pick. And hopefully this is not us, please. Damn. Okay. Of course. Oklahoma City. What? How did we get the 2 pick? I will say this, though. If Michael Stauffer does not win an NBA championship this year with this team, I'm going to have to get rid of him. I don't care how good he is. I'm going to have to get rid of him. Rookie signing. We're going to sign all these guys. Damn, we got four first-round picks. Oh, I mean, we might be all right here. Team player options. We're going to accept all these. Alper Alperin Singen. Okay. All right, so we can't sign any of these guys. We don't have the money. Let's take a look at our roster real fast. So the roster doesn't look... Too, too bad. Eric Steele is a 99 overall. A.J. Cox is up to a 97. Evan Mobley is an 82. And we have A.J. Cox and Eric Steele for three more years. Let's see if there's anyone that's affordable. Nathan Maxwell is affordable. He's an 85 overall. What? Okay, so there we go. We got him. Small forward. 85 overall. And then we need to go and get another small forward. I mean, we got Jay Sean Tate too. He could play the. He could play small forward as well. Um, affordable. Let's see. We already got. We got Jay Sean. Yeah, so we're good. Jay Sean Tate is prepared to accept an offer from the Bulls. All right, we're gonna match that. There we go. We got our small forward. We're set. Ooh, we're in the stadium office. Why in the world is the assistant GM signing players right now? What am I paying you for, Pop? Oh, damn. Pop's sad. Look at him. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It won't happen again. Wow. What player? I, what? I signed so many players this offseason. Keonta George has got the flu. He's got the Rona. Oh, no. I think we're good. Let's sim this season. Let's at least sim to the trade deadline. And see how we're uh, how we're doing. We'll sim through this date right here. We lost game one. Awesome. What the? What? Hold up. Is someone hurt? How are we losing this this many games? Come on now. So at the trade deadline, we're not amazing, but we're not terrible either. We're only three and a half games out of first place. Of course, Boston's in first. We're thirty six and seventeen. I don't really think. We need to make any trades. Celtics are just so tough. I don't know how to beat them. I don't think we can beat the Celtics in a seven-game series. Let's take a look at the contract extensions. Tyrese Maxey will resign. Let's go ahead and try and get him locked in for a, a three-year deal here. We'll give you a $50 million instead of $54 million. All right, there we go. We saved $4 million. Hell yeah. Got a meeting with the CFO. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, Kane, 
I've got something small to chat with you about. No problem, what's up? Nice hair, dude. Let's praise him. I spent three hours going over our books and couldn't find a single mistake. Your prowess with numbers is simply stunning. Thank you. I pride myself on my accuracy. Makes me really glad to know that someone else notices. You got it. Let's talk to the head coach real fast. See what he has to say. Hey, Mr. Pop. We've got a game against Boston. We've got a game against Boston Celtics coming up, and we've got to take this one. Let's make sure we're where we need to be with the game plan. We've got the right plan in place to beat those guys. I'm not worried about it. Capiche? Hmm, I guess that could work. You're the coach, dude. I'm a general manager. What? What do you want me to do about it? Oh my lord, a spinal injury is out six to eight weeks? Oh no, dude. Six to eight weeks. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to be out for the freaking playoffs. A spinal injury. What the heck? Luka Doncic wins your MVP. Amani Bates, Rookie of the Year. Chet Holmgren, Sixth Man of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. RJ Hampton with the Nashville Stars, Most Improved. I'm... I'm a Udoka, Coach of the Year. Sorry if I butchered that. Jacob Park, Executive of the Year. All-NBA first team, no Bronx Brawlers. Second team, no Bronx Brawlers. Eric Steele made the third team. Jeez. And he made it all defensive second team. Nathan Maxwell made the all-rookie team. Nice. And Keonta George did too. Okay, so we got a nice little core right here. We're going to simulate the play-in. And we are the three seed. So, not bad. And we're on the opposite side of the bracket from the Celtics. So, I'm fine with that. Is Evan Mobley back yet? Yes, he is. H.A. Cox is day-to-day -day with a lower back bruise. What is up with all these back injuries, dude? Come on, now. This team is solid. Look at this. This is a solid team. A.J. Cox out here balling. Eric Steele almost averaging... No, no, just a double-double. They put defensive rebounds before rebounds. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we have the Orlando Magic. Let's simulate a game, and we win. I did not mean to hit that. Who do they have on their team? I think we should be okay. I don't see any reason. They got Suggs. Carmelo Anthony is still in the... Oh, I was going to say Cole Anthony. I was going to say Carmelo's still in the league. What? Markel Fultz. Franz Wagner. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, we, sh we should be all right. We should sweep these guys. And, of course, 2K hates when I sweep teams. All right, so Boston and Detroit are both in battles here. So, if we could get Boston and Detroit to lose, that would be huge. And they both win, of course. Detroit won in seven games. All right, we got Detroit... They got Kay Cunningham, Michael Porter Jr., Christian Wood. Oh, man. We might be in trouble here. Game one goes to them. Game two goes to them. Oh, we win game three, which that means we're going to lose game four. Uh-oh. Okay, come back. Come back. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. God, dude. What is going on? I'm so sick of losing. The Mavericks win the championship. Luka Doncic, like, is Luka Doncic really, like, he's great, don't get me wrong, but come on, man. God. LeBron James retires? No, he doesn't. Chris Paul retires? No, he doesn't. Carmelo retires? No, he doesn't. Sorry. Not happening. Derrick Rose, you're not retiring either, buddy. Staff retirements, Scott Brooks, Nick Nurse, Mason Miller. Bye. Hall of Fame inductees, who cares about any of this? Oh my goodness. Man, I'm so glad I traded for all those draft picks. Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to let it play out, and then hopefully hopefully we, went, we end up with the number one pick. Actually, if all of our picks land in the top five, that would be huge, because then I can trade them away for one more piece. I think we're one piece away from winning the NBA championship. I think we could take Boston on. 
hopefully this does not come up as us. And of course it does. Did I just say the Timberwolves will now pick because of that? Is that what that said? What is happening, man? God. Are you shitting me? The Brawlers have never picked number one, it said. Yeah, of course we haven't, because we get screwed. Are you kidding me? What are the odds that we go 876? I mean, that is so rigged. I hate to do it, but you're done, Stauffer. You're done, dude. You're just not living up to your potential. You're not maximizing the talents of the players we've given you. We can't in good conscience keep you employed after what we've seen there. Anyone ever tell you you've got a terrible bedside manner? You're gonna have trouble in this league if you don't work on your relationship skills. Remember that. Really? Dude, we've built you a powerhouse here and you haven't done jack shit. Ooh, Jacob Underwood. Yes. Please, Jacob Underwood. Let's go. Let's go, dude. He's not as good as Michael Stauffer, but I'll take him. Maybe he can maybe he can make these guys champions. I don't know. You fucker!